Underwater archaeology is an exciting but often risky field. Can robots help humans in these dangerous environments? This Soviet-era prison and quarry in Rumu, Estonia, were abandoned and flooded in the 1990s. Buildings and machinery were submerged. Now it's a popular diving spot and a great place to test a new robot, UCAT, designed to help underwater archaeologists working at shipwrecks and similar sites. It has to go into confined places, took a video footage and come back again. It's very little space sometimes there, so this robot can turn, maneuver around all axes and, and uh, come back. Developed as part of a European research project, UCAT works without remote control, following its program autonomously. Its sensors prevent collisions with walls and other underwater objects. The design is biomimetic, meaning the robot simulates the movement of sea animals, like turtles. Instead of propellers, it has these four fins, which make the robot very well maneuverable inside the wreck. And also, the fins help to bring up less sediment from the bottom of the ship, because if you start the propeller in a, in a shipwreck, it will bring up all the mud from the bottom and you can't see anything. Until recently, only the military and big oil companies could afford underwater drones. This simple device should be much more affordable for scientists, helping them to study undersea heritage without taking excessive risks. Losing a robot inside a shipwreck is much, much, much better than losing a human diver. In many cases, we wouldn't penetrate the shipwrecks because it's too dangerous. But it's just like a clear situation where we would like machines to replace humans. So what are the big challenges of using underwater robotics? The video and sonar data collected by the robots can be combined into 3D maps, an invaluable tool for discovering and preserving the hidden treasures of the seas. But navigating and communicating reliably can be tricky. In doing archaeological studies, it's very important to know at which exact place a certain photo or video has been taken. Since it's impossible to communicate via radio underwater, we have to use acoustic communication which is not very reliable, which is slow and has all sorts of technical problems for communicating and working with the robots. So we're working on that within this project. This modular robot, Marta, can operate as an undersea interpreter, coordinating simultaneously the work of multiple robots of different types and functions. Its shape and propulsion system allow Marta to move fast, mapping large areas, alone or in a group. When this project was initiated, we were hoping to help archaeologists in their work. But now, at the end of the research, we think this technology could soon be accessible to many scientists working in various fields, such as biology or geology. 